Hi Cubs, I'm back to go for your ELA assignments for April 24th. Let's get started. Using your text on page 275, paragraphs 3, 4, and 5, complete the writing assignment, and then you're going to read independently for 30 minutes and complete your reading log. Now, today is actually a little bit shorter than yesterday. You had a lot to do in yesterday's assignment, so it would have com been completely okay if you broke that assignment up into two days. That's probably what I would have done, but however you're working it out at home, guys, it's fine as long as you're getting your work done. You may work ahead a couple days. You may get behind a day or two and then get caught up, but just make sure that you don't get too far behind. So by the end of the week, I would make sure that I've completed all of my assignments for that week before going into the next week. Okay, let's go back and look at the story on page 275. Actually, let's look at your packet first to see what that says. Okay, so on page 275 in paragraphs 3, 4, and 5, the author transitions using dialogue between Manu and Hoku. To show these transitions, now remember, boys and girls, transitions are when we go from one part to the next. He indents each time, creating a new paragraph when the dialogue switches from Manu to Hoku. So we know that the dialogue is switching, and dialogue is what the characters are actually saying to each other. So we know it's switching each time the author starts a new paragraph with an indention. So now let's go back to that text. Okay. New things, Manu exclaimed. I miss the old things. Where are the coconuts, the bananas, the sweet potatoes, and how about the pigs, the chickens, the dogs? Now notice there's quotation marks at the beginning of new things or new, right before new, the sentence, and then at the end of things after the exclamation mark. So the Dialogue is marked. We know it's dialogue because of the quotation marks. And then it starts with quotation marks again to show what Manu is saying. So only the words, only the sentences that the characters are saying are in quotation marks or dialogue. I miss the old things. Where are the coconuts, the bananas, the sweet potatoes? And how about the pigs, the chickens, the dogs? Question mark quotation mark. So the quotation mark, when it's at the end of the sentence, goes after the punctuation mark. And then Hoku says, we'll go home and bring these things back here with us, said Hoku. Quotation marks here, comma, and then quotation marks. And then, of course, at the very end of the sentence, it says, said Hoku, so we know who was actually talking. And then the dialogue is switching and going back to what Manu says. We're coming back, Manu cried. I don't want to come back. I just want to come. I just want to go home. And boys and girls, something for you to pay close attention to here is the dialogue tags. Those are actually the parts of the sentence that shows who was talking so, for example, here it says, new things, Manu exclaimed. That's a different way instead of saying Manu said, since he said it with strong feeling, he may have even yelled it. The author uses the word exclaimed. So that kind of avoids using that wor worn out word said. You don't always want to just say said so-and-so, said so-and-so, and use the same words over and over again. That gets to be boring. OK, uh, the author does use said Hoku here for the dialogue tag. And then here, Manu said. Uh, OK, so I mean, it's OK to use said some, but it's good to mix it up and use other words. You may even use question like, for example, are we coming back, question Manu, instead of asked Manu. You could say ask Manu, but there's just other ways to uh, say the same thing. And of course, we know those are synonyms. So other words that you can use that make your writing interesting are great to throw in there. Okay, let's go back to our 
summit page. Okay. I can't remember if I read this part or not. Okay, I don't think I did. Number one, today you will use page 275, paragraphs three, four, and five as a mentor text. A mentor text, boys and girls, is a text that we use as an example to help us with our writing or to, um, to model the same thing. Use dialogue as transitions in your own writing. You have conversations every day. Imagine a conversation between you and a friend or sibling. You could even imagine a conversation between you and me, Mrs. Clyde. You can include me in on that conversation. I would love that. Write a conversation using a new paragraph to transition your dialogue back and forth. So every time the uh, conversation switches to what another character says, you will show that by indenting your paragraph. Don't forget to include quotation marks and synonyms for the word said. So what they're saying here, boys and girls, is don't just use said, said, said. You may want to say declared. Declared is another great synonym for said. Miss Client declared. Why in the world didn't you do your homework first? Or Miss Client questioned. Why didn't you do your homework first? So there's different ways of um, saying the same thing. So we want to mix it up and keep it interesting. Okay, and then they give you an example here. It says quotation mark, indent quotation mark. Hop on Edmentum and complete your math and reading assignments for today. We have to stay on target and be prepared for when you go back to school. Comma, quotation mark, because that's the end of the quote. Now, notice that because it's not the very end of the sentence, there's a comma before the quotation mark. Mom gently reminded me, period. So the period is at the very end, and this will be the dialogue tag. Who was speaking here? Mom. And the author did not just write, Mom said, but Mom gently reminded me. So that was another way of saying that she said that. Okay. And then here's another indention quotation mark. Sure, mom, exclamation mark. I really like to learn new things each day, comma, quotation mark. I responded excitedly. So instead of saying, I said, the author wrote, I responded excitedly. So that was an interesting way to write that. So guys, keep that in mind as you write your own conversation. Now, it doesn't have to be extremely long. But you should at least have, um, like the example shows you, uh, at least two parts of your conversation where you are saying something and then someone else is responding or either someone else says something and you respond. Um, but make sure that you write in complete sentences and have your parents snap a picture and send those to me. I'm enjoying the work that I've received so far. Guys, y'all just don't know how much I miss looking at your work and giving you feedback and reading all the, the wonderful things that you guys write. Um, you all always make me smile and laugh when I'm reading your writing. So, um, so keep it up. Keep sending it to me and giving me a reason to smile. I will be tuning back in shortly for next week's assignments. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.